That's a shot that you can't get on the pad because there's nobody sitting outside the window. <laughs> Better way to do that, John. We'll have Bob tap you on the shoulder when he's clear. And when I'm clear, you're clear. You tap around. me twice. Yeah, I'll okay. Did you okay. feel me? I, yeah. hit, I hit both of you. Yes, and I even oh. saw you go. Bob. And I looked over and I didn't see John, so I figured he was gone. I was down in the middle when Mike came down. I. Well, but you did good by not trying to recover one. No, I waited. Yeah. <laughs> I was stuck between. That's why I thought it was John's and Bob's. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I'm, I'm not sure though. Where you were, you might have lost footing. Yeah, no, when Mike came down, I was just getting ready to leave that MS2 seat. He, he, he bumped into me. Okay, and, and then, then I fell into that hole. <laughs> yeah, well, I saw you fall in. And then once I you, stay there. Yeah, you, yeah, once you fell in there. Oh, I realized if yeah. I started to get up, I. Okay, John, just hold on real tight. 
keep you from coming down. It's a lot harder here than it will be on the other body. Thank you. Is there any angle involved? No, you don't have to hold on an angle. It's like a casting. It's wrapped around a metal rod. Are you pushing the full tension on the wrap? Once we finish raising you up, you'll go down about halfway. You'll just release the tension that you've got on here and lower yourself. Let lower yourself down. Just feed it through your hands. Don't, yeah, don't your hand get close to the... Yeah, you don't want to be up here. So now what happens is, in real life, what you would do, put your visor down at that point. In training, you're going to have your visor up. Where have we done this looking? Right in there. With the free end. And you're the loose end. With the loose end. Like this. Okay, with the loose end. This is in real life. Okay. Then what you do is you make sure your visor is down. Take this thing, pop, and you pop it away. Now you're free from the sky genie, and you lower yourself. This class, to simulate that, you guys will take the loose one and wrap that first. And make sure, before you pop this thing, pull it away, get your visor to it. I don't think you could, there's any way, because you can thumb it with one hand, but then you'd have to have a hand for the rope. So every time you let it go, it's going to lock. Yeah. This is Sydney's split of arms.
keep that number one sky G. And using your weight, pull the thing down the ladder. Okay? And pull it out onto the side hatch. So you're sitting on the, on the side hatch here. You kind of step onto that part and kind of lower yourself back. One thing that can get hung up is your oxygen bottles can get hung up on the stand, so just be aware of it. If it gets hung up on the stand, you might have to push yourself away, you know, if it gets hung up on the side hatch. And the guy can be hooked up and ready yeah. to go right That's behind him. Yeah. I mean, more than two you can't use. No, uh, there's no point in doing more than two. But you can use two, okay? Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. That works. I just, I it, just, takes while, it takes a while for you to get on the side. Yeah. And then, you know, Jim's weight. Think two work better? I think so, oh, because think, yeah. you, know, you had to wait for Bob to clear. This way, I was ready as soon as you were done. Oh, yeah, because, you know, it's, you, have to to, you, have to, you have to unwind the rope. Yeah. I mean, you just, uh, Another thing to get more slack, <laughs> unwind the thing about it. As soon as you get to the bottom, just sit down or walk oh, yeah. away and then yeah. walk towards it and it's loose. Yeah. Everybody but Jim should have no trouble getting tangled because the cable comes off to the left. Yeah. Jim comes off from the right. Yeah. So you got to watch him where he gets twisted. Oh, yeah. yeah. So he's the one you, you got to tang the most. Thanks, Jim. You want to smile at me? Oh, Never. Smile. He doesn't smile.